<laughs> lots of kisses, lots of kisses, lots of kisses. You are such a content creator. You're like those people that they make fun of where it's like ah, the camera's off and you're like, my eye. Oh my god. And then they turn the camera on and like, oh my god. Yes. I actually I was doing it before she turned off her phone. Yeah, I just thought that was cute and wanted to get it on camera. No, because you... I don't make up content. Yes, because two seconds ago, I said, are you ready? And you're like, yes, I'm almost ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, I am a little crusty sometimes before the camera is rolling. Yeah, it's like what we and Aubrey said her the other day. She doesn't show the YouTubers her real self. That is not true. Why don't you make a vlog about it? <laughs> I've seen a lot of other people do that. Where they're like, we're going to show you the real life. Isn't it supposed to be real? That's the whole point of being on YouTube. <laughs> Dokies. Sitting here having my Starbies. It's our first time ever going to Radix. It's a big convention and competition that's held in Kansas City. This is a new experience for us. The really cool thing about Radix is the fact that there's a lot of celebrity guest teachers that come in, like Tina Casper is gonna be there and Brian Friedman. I went to jump a few years ago with my niece that was in Kansas City and that was crazy. We're gonna try this, we're gonna see how it goes. No Boundaries did their competition last night for their soloists. They had three of them get a palladium level. I was really proud of them. I thought they did excellent. The competition was insane. <laughs> I'm excited to see where Aubrey's going to be in this rookie room. I don't know how all of this works. I know that Aubrey gets to perform this afternoon with all the rookies on stage with the staffs. I do want to tell you guys about something that was really fun and it was exciting for us with our graduating senior, Jaitlin. I'm going to take you over to what we did two days ago with Jaitlin. Okay guys, what's up? It is me, Coach Mickey. I'm here with Maddie. And we are here at Ottawa University for something really exciting. So let's go and see what it is. <laughs> And I think you have great technique and you're good at all styles. Um, I've been looking for studio dancers, people that will help me grow this team. Um, so thank you for joining me. It's going to be a great four years. So here you can just sign down here. So one practice for me and then one is for you. <laughs> and some of these other dances. Hi guys. Hi, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> oh my gosh. So uh, it was fun getting to do this. We're very excited for her and I want to show you guys highlights and reels from all the years that she's been dancing with us. So let's go back in time. Hold on, turn around. 
Let's go back in time and watch some highlights from all the years of Jaitlin dancing. That was so much fun doing that with Jaitlyn and getting to see Deja. Like, what a cool experience this is going to be for both Jaitlyn and Deja. They're going to get to dance together in college for another four years. So, I am so proud of her. This was like, what a great, great thing for Jaitlyn. And um, all those years of hard work and dancing and it's going to pay off with her being able to go to college and get a nice scholarship for it and to continue to keep competing and dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Your pants. That's a good one. That's a good one. No cartwheel in the back. But it happens more often than actually <laughs> dancing. Yeah, and then the da actual dancing is not like you know in a senior contemporary room. You're like, blah, 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 blah. And you're like yeah. Where this is like, jump around. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> They've got like a cars theme going on.
section now of this routine that they're doing. It's kind of ironic that it's like a whole cars theme because that's what we're doing for our large group this year. But Aubrey's having a good time. She's doing really, really well. She really likes her hip hop class too. It's really good. And these teachers are amazing. They've been great with these littles. The rookie room is right over here next to the senior room and the junior room on the second floor but I wanted to like <laughs> so this other dance studio brought a table and they have like all of their costumes here and they're doing all the rhinestoning and it's pretty awesome <laughs> what up <Hey>! guys <laughs> had the girls see yesterday go Aubrey they did awesome everybody yeah. did really really yeah. good yeah it was a lot of fun I watched it online and I was very proud of them oh yeah <laughs> Growing up so fast. I know. I'm so excited. You guys, this is uh, Penny and Sunny's mom for No Boundaries. So, yeah. We'll be seeing her a lot this season. Uh huh. Uh huh. Because <laughs> Sunny and Aubrey are best days. Yes. <laughs> Good luck. All right. Bye. Bye, bye camera. <laughs> so, we're going to be getting ready to go in that. Her kids are in the junior room. And then Sunny, who is Aubrey's little buddy, she's in the mini room because she's eight. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. Now let me loud and we're playing. Then we go three step turn. Watch. Three step turn together. We pull, bounce, bounce, pull, bounce, 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 pull. Oh, oh, we love, 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 love. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car, looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Hey now, honey I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money But I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright
Dancing for the junior and mini level is incredible. Dance Gallery did six wives. What? That was insane. Good job, guys. So, what do you get, Martin? What is that? Oh! So we got a necklace and a... Yeah, she's watching the musical now because of Dance Gallery's routine. <laughs> And this is their t-shirt with all of the places that they've gone. Okay, so that's it for us for today for day one of Radix. Me and Aubrey are going to go back to the resort. We're going to have an early dinner and then Courtney and Madeline are going to come back and watch the teens so I'm going to watch the teens online because Aubrey has class in the morning so um, we will be back for tomorrow and then I'll give you a wrap up when I get back to uh, the hotel of how I thought day one of Radix went yeah okay so two hotels both of them have construction. <laughs> I'm the one that booked these because, yeah, I screwed up. I didn't know they were doing construction in both. So ridiculous. I'm talking about the construction in both of the Hyatts. I don't even know what the number Yeah, no. Oh, so. We're gonna go get some um, cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory as our desserts. Like, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel so good. Please don't break on us. Going down. All right. Good morning. It is day number two of Radix, and Madeline is going to be taking Aubrey over to the convention hall while Courtney and I are gonna be heading back to Topeka for dance with our kids but right now we're gonna go get Starbucks and I think I have pink eye <laughs> no. still not even the sun out and it's cold as balls but we're gonna go get a Starbucks Okay, so I'm sitting here having my Starbies as the sun is starting to come up. I'm having a little pink drink. Mm. So good. Okay, so uh, I wanted to do a wrap up of how things went yesterday at Radix and my overall thoughts about it. First of all, I highly recommend taking your studio, no matter what level, especially for the littles to the uh, rookie um, stuff for Radix. Cause I was a little like concerned about like, is it gonna be too easy or is it gonna be too hard for Aubrey? I had no idea what to expect, but that teaching staff for the rookie room was phenomenal. Probably the best convention I have ever seen for littles. They were so good with them. And then getting to see her perform up on that Radix stage was so iconic. And we have watched and followed Radix and watched routines for years um, because of the dance awards or whatever. And seeing it on Carmo Dance, which is a YouTube channel where they like replay other people's dance routines for years and always dreaming about being on that Radix stage and having Aubrey be up there was so surreal. Like I cried, it was so amazing. And then watching all of those group competition routines of these phenomenal studios that had come here 
was just amazing. My favorite routine yesterday for the juniors um, was probably Premier's Dance Studio. They did uh, this thing, Heads Off, I think it was. It was a um, group routine. And they had these like um, Marie Antoinette wigs and stuff and these adorable costumes. I just absolutely loved it. It was such a good routine. Their kids are just mm, chef's kiss, like insane. Yes, love Radix. I'm very excited about, you know, going to that convention again and seeing how Aubrey would do in like the minis room. That would be so dope if she did that next year. So we had a little bit of a setback this week. It made me very emotional when I was watching some of the group dances. It was really, really hard. There were a couple times where it was where I almost had to step out of the theater because I just was not able to hold myself together. I was crying pretty heavily and not just because of the loss of my son and, you know, remembering him and what we have been through as a studio, but we also had some like personal issues that happened this week that I am like shocked that happened to us. We're not in our original studio. It has been pretty much, we just closed the, the building. We've been at no boundaries for the season. It's been so wonderful being able to have that space. And we're so grateful to no boundaries for providing us with a safe space for our kids to be able to continue their, their dance season and not having to like quit um, due to what we were dealing with, with the loss of Billy. But uh, we got a call from our local police officer um, letting us know that there was a water leak in our building and due to all of the freezing temperatures, we weren't surprised by that, especially because we haven't been in the building. But when we went in to go check on that, we also found out that there had been some vandalism that had gone on in our building. There was some stuff thrown around. There was uh, writing on the mirrors and on the walls and there were racial slurs. It was very disheartening that some local kids had gone in there and decided to write the things that they wrote. And we did press charges and uh, we, are hoping that they will be held accountable for what they've done and hopefully um, this kind of behavior would stop because that's just there was no need for it it was completely like not appropriate especially because you know that was our dance family's home so it made it really really hard for us to feel like we could keep going again you know it's one of those situations where we just keep feeling like we just keep getting socked in the gut and um after everything we've been through this year especially because something that had been written on the wall was like really not appropriate um telling us to unalive ourselves after everything we've been through with billy so um it made it really hard for us to get motivated to get back into wanting to finish out the dance season. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, losing my son was tough. Almost losing our studio was even tougher. And then having somebody disrespect us like that was even worse. We pushed through as a family, but with everything going on, we just wanted to regroup and have this opportunity for Aubrey to have a good weekend. I just want to keep everything as positive as we can be. You know, we didn't think we were going to be able to do this season. Having that happen too, on top of everything else that we've been going through, when we felt like we were finally like on a rise up and we were feeling positive and motivated to move forward, and then that happened, it was just like another slap in the face. So, um, this dance season is going to be, it's going to be tough, but it's also going to be kind of healing I'm hoping because I don't see how it could get any worse I don't see how any more like hits at us could at this point make it any worse um, so we're not about awards this year um, if we get anything it's just going to be a blessing and you know um, 
it will be um, a reflection on how hard these kids are working and how hard these kids are motivated and they're the reason why we're sticking through because of them just because of the kids the kids are so amazing and our dance spot kids I'm just I just love them so much because they they've put up with a lot this year and they're so devoted and so committed to working just as hard as they ever have with everything that's been kind of thrown at them so you'll see me cry even if we got 10th place because no one would expect us to do anything award winning this year with everything that we've gone through so to anybody who has a dance studio that's an owner appreciate every second you have with your kids and everything that you do with them because you never know when it might be taken away from you or you know god this has been a rough year and uh, I'm hoping I won't be doing a lot of this all year long but I can't guarantee I'm not going to I'm going to be a very emotional hot mess oh and um I really hope that everybody who is at competitions with us will be a little understanding if we're emotional hot messes, especially me. So if you see me at competition this year and you see me like losing it in the hallways or outside, just know I'm just trying to survive. <laughs> Get Like I said, I'm just really appreciative that we can still keep dancing. So, another thank you to Carly and everybody over at No Boundaries. They really have been like our second family. And um, it's great to have a space where we can not have the reminders of that kind of stuff. So, um, anyway. Woo! So Aubrey's off to Radix right now for day number two. She's got three classes today. She has a jazz class, a lyrical class, and a ballet class. I don't know what they're going to be doing over there today. I don't know how they wrap up um, two days of dancing. Um, if Madeline gets me any pictures or videos, I'll post those here. <laughs> They do have breakfast available. And look at all the yummies. We have sausage, potatoes, looks like pancakes. We've got fruit. There's juice. They have cereals. Of course, all your milk, tea, and tons of coffee options. And then we also have bagels and toast. It's like little donut holes. Okay, we are on the third floor here. And this is what it looks like when you first come into the room. Um, this is a pull-out bed off of this couch. And it has a little footstool area. There is some storage spacing, a little fridge. It's a regular, yeah, mini fridge, not a one that has a freezer. And then it has a sink. There's a table here. Nice big TV. It's where you get your ice bucket and your glasses. Got two double beds. Courtney is not included. <laughs> but there is some nice outlets over here. 
USB and regular. How is the bed? Comfy? Yeah. Big sink in here, uh, drawer space. We have a closet that has a full standing mirror, which is nice for dancers to have so they can see themselves. Big mirror here. We've got hangers, ironing board iron, of course, luggage rack. And then this is your bathroom with the toilet and shower. Which is not too shabby. Okay, so all in all, this room is actually a really good room if you are coming to a dance competition. Because look, there's even enough space they can stretch out over here. Dance competitions and stuff like that. So, highly recommend this, especially if you're coming to the Overland Park area for a dance competition. This is a good space at a really good reason for the price. I'll put the price in the video right here where you can see how much it cost us per night to stay here. All right, let's head off to dance. Okay, so today the kids are in here. They ran all of their routines earlier this morning. It's about one o'clock, 1.30 right now. And they're in here doing technique now, which we haven't done some intensive technique in a while. So it's awesome to see them actually working hard again on that technique because they've got all their choreography done for their group dances. Now there is one routine that's still working on a choreography and we're going to go check that out. That's an aqua routine that Deja is choreographing for them. So let's go see what they're doing. Mm -hmm.
That's how they move, then. Yeah. Good job. That's how they move. I know. Was that oh, Mickey Mouse Monday? You guys just learned this routine yeah. last week. I just learned you it today. You just learned it today. today. I'm surprised we even did it. It's a tough acro routine anyway, so yeah. give yourself a little bit of a break, but you're doing good. I learned it in so. 20 minutes. <laughs> I know. I good job. Right. Right. Only it's Guess probably what? over an hour and a half. I know. We you, today's <laughs> Mandy's birthday. <laughs> Okay, so these guys have literally just learned this acro routine that Deja choreographed for them. Um, and I'm surprised at how much choreography they have learned in such a short time. And it's really difficult too. It's an acro routine and it's got a lot of really cool elements to it. And once I think they get it down, it's gonna be a banger. So Deja's killing it this season dancing as a competitive dancer over at Ottawa and then coming over here on the weekends and not only assisting us but choreographing stuff on her own and this is her first big group dance and it's Mandy's birthday yay bye, bye. bye guys bye. all right so we're gonna go see if Katie's doing something I think we've got Katie somewhere. I don't know. We'll go see if I can find Katie. I don't know. Do you have a question here? Yeah. Can they do it in their costumes? Yeah. Okay. I don't see why not. Yay! Hurry back! Okay, so what are we doing in here, Katie? We are going through just basically correcting technique if we need to as far as Lottie and Jaitlin's little duet named Express. Stay yeah. tuned. It's thebomb.com, and I'm not biased. Who choreographed that routine? Was that Justice? I think and it was you're just cleaning it. I think it was Justice, yeah. And, you're and then just it. going through and make sure what are the arms on this calypso and stuff like that, so it doesn't, you know. Let's so how did the kids do this morning? Because I was out with the parents. I didn't get to see how their run through went this morning. Did they look good? Yeah, I mean they definitely had some questions on like certain choreography, but we went through it and made sure that they knew. Um, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. How are you feeling? This is your first year coming back. I know. As it, a coach, is it different for you? It's very different, one, because we don't have our own space, which I'm very thankful for No Boundaries to yeah. let us have this space. Very grateful. But it's just different. It's difficult. It's hard. We are a family. We just need to find our home. Excited yeah. about competing this year? Yeah, but I wish I was competing. Do you? <laughs> yes, I wish I was competing. I keep telling Courtney, I said, just take me a day in there. They'll never know. Just take me somewhere. They'll never, they'll literally never know. I could be whatever Dude, you're name. You're way too old now, though. You don't even make the, like, 18 and under requirement. They would never know. I know, but yet, yeah, it would know. <laughs> well, Kevin somebody. Jason, oh, <laughs> Meredith would know from Bravo. She would know. Shh. I think we're fine. <laughs> Tell <laughs> us that the, your YouTube friends do not understand what you guys are talking about. So originally you had different <laughs> costumes for this duet. Yeah. Go. Tell me. Uh, basically. Um, I couldn't get them on at first. So yeah. she had to pull them off. <laughs> pull them up Pry first. them off. You had to pull Pry. them up first. Oh, yeah. We looked like seven-year-olds. Uh, and then I had three people had to pull my pants down for me. Because <laughs> while I was crying and laughing. Because they wouldn't come off. Because they, they were too small. Yeah. I just gotta I look like and I did a I got you this one. You feeling better about these? Yeah. Okay. I wanted to show you guys. This is where all of our costumes are for right now. They're here in this lobby area. We have all of our costumes underneath the trash bag that says the dance spot. But they're all in their bags. And this costume rack will go away after we do our showcase so at the end of this month we were hoping it was going to be next weekend but we decided to 
delay it a little bit. And we've got costumes in here. Here's those costumes that da that. This is the costume that Jalen and Lottie were complaining about being too small for their booties and that they thought it looked like a little kid's. I think it's really adorable, but whatever. I think it's cute. And they're taking out the trash. Bye, guys. Reagan, you have to promise me before the end of the season, you will speak to me in British. Come on! Just, we're just, we're just say like Harry Potter. <laughs> Dang it! Do you know how to speak in a British accent? No. You can't sound like Hermione. Why not? No. How about you? Can you do that? you? Can you do Wait. Harry Potter? Wait, I can do it. Oh, I can do it. Harry Potter. Oh. Harry Potter. I don't really know. Harry Potter. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. No. Oh, wait. I heard it. What did she hear? What she went, no. Just like Hermione Granger. Yes. Aubrey, or Coach Maddie is really good at talking like Hermione Granger. Can you do the British accent? No, I'm terrible at accents. You can never do it. No. What about Deja? Where's Deja? Deja? Mar? Can you speak in a British accent? You can't say Harry Potter. Dang it! Addie, can you do yeah, Harry my, Potter? No. My back and Come on, British and accent. And Go. No. That Aubrey sounds like she's from Australia. Harry Potter. Look at Katie, doing her job. Look at Daisy, doing her job. They're earning their cheese. Make that money. Okay, so that's it for today's vlog. And I will be back next week to get more pictures. Cause tomorrow, next week we gotta start making their team t-shirts. And so the moms and I have decided we're gonna do like a bonding thing and we're gonna bring all the stuff to make team t-shirts and do it here. So we're gonna do that next week and I'll bring you back for that as we get closer and closer to their big debut, first time at competition. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace out, bye!